Keegan, how did it feel today right over here to, to finally get going today? It felt like early in that first quarter you finally found your, your stride and then finally kind of rolled from there. Would you agree? Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean I've mean, i just tried to be more aggressive throughout the playoffs, and um, I knew eventually I'd catch my stride um, on the offensive end. Um, so it was just a matter of time, and I just came in confident and um, just tried to figure out what they were doing against me and just try to figure out how I could get open looks. So. Keegan, um, you guys – came in here up 2-0 now it's tied going back to sack just where are you guys at mentally after you know a tough two games yeah I mean uh, I feel like we fought the last two games uh, the first game kind of got away from us but I feel like this game we kept fighting uh, even through the little mistakes we had and I mean we had a shot to try to go in um, at the end of the game that's all we could have asked for um, it was a great look by HB and um, I have him take that 10 times out of 10 so um, we know that uh, we just need to defend home court um, as well as we can Keegan, uh, it's going back, you know, three games before that. Um, what would you contribute to, you know, your uh, shooting struggles those first three games? Because your confidence level was really high today. I mean, just finding a rhythm. Um, I mean, the first two games we had guys step up, um, and Trey, Davion, and Malik. And then uh, the last game I got in foul trouble, so it was just a matter of just trying to figure out how to get into a rhythm. Um, and I made my first couple, and as a shooter, you see those first couple go in, and you feel good. So um, I think I've – I mean, I just try to watch as much film as I could on myself. I'm just trying to figure out what I needed to do to get, get some looks off. Yeah, Keegan, it looked like you guys were able to get back to that DHO action a bit more today. What do you feel like allowed that to happen? Uh, I think it's just being aggressive. Um, I feel like they didn't change anything that they normally did. I just uh, It was just more aggressive coming off of it, um, and that either led to a mid-range or a three um, or a dump off to Doma. So I know that's something that we're really good at throughout this season, uh, and we need more of. So, Keegan, what happened in the third quarter when, when they retook control of the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, we fought back, um, but, I mean, they hit a couple shots. We had a couple lapses, and um, that ended up changing the course of the game, and they had control the rest of the game uh, since then. So uh, that's something that uh, in the playoffs you can't have happen, uh, and we obviously need, need to clean up some of those mistakes. Keegan, it seemed like you guys came out in game four with just much better energy than what you had in game three. Was there anything said or done in between those games? How do you kind of bottle that when you go back home for game five? Uh, I think we just we just got, uh, I mean, used to the environment. Um, obviously, we played here a couple times earlier in the season. It's different when you're playing here in the playoffs. And, um, I, was, and I feel like uh, they're obviously they're um, playing really well on their home court. Um, and. Uh, we played well tonight, so I mean, in game five, uh, we just have to defend home court. Uh, we have to be the more aggressive team um, offensively and defensively, and that's what we were uh, the first two games. Keegan, did you, did you notice yourself being more aggressive? Is it anything that they did, or is it simple as just seeing the ball go through the net? Uh, they didn't change anything. Um, I mean, they've been, I feel like they've been playing me the same the first four games, and it was just a matter of uh, me and myself being more aggressive. And I know my talent on the offensive end, so I was just trying to tap into that, and um, I found that uh, in this game. Speaking before the game, uh, Coach Brown, I think, kind of half-jokingly, half-seriously said he'd been uh, cussing you out uh, for not taking shots. Yeah. One, could you describe how he handled that with you and – Two, do you think the next couple of days he won't be cussing you out? Yeah, I mean, he's he's been uh, been on my tail, I guess, uh, the last couple of days, just me being more aggressive um, on, the, on the offensive end because the last couple of games I've kind of been, I want to say a liability, but um, not as good as I have been. Um, and he just, he knows uh, he has full confidence in me, and he just needed to show me that and tell me that um, these last couple of days uh, when we had time to practice. So, um, I mean, he's, he's the coach of the year for a reason, and uh, I wouldn't have any other coach. Keegan, uh, the Kings, you guys were uh, one, uh, 11 for 27 in the first half shooting uh, three-pointers, and you only took one three in the third quarter, that one that you made. Was the uh, Warriors doing anything differently or de defending you guys differently on that three-point line? Uh, they, just, they just made a more a point of emphasis uh, to get out to shooters, I think. Um, I feel like they're running a lot more guys off the line um, in the second half, and uh, that led to us um, more shots at the basket, more contested shots at the basket, and mid-range shots. So um, I feel like uh, just what they did in the second half kind of changed the game um, in that aspect. Keegan, two quick ones for you. When when HB lets that shot go, what do you think and how did it look from your vantage point? And then after four games, 
I mean, this is as tough a loss as you guys can have, but what's the mood in the locker room? Did anybody speak up today, post game? Just what's the message after this? Yeah, I mean, uh, when HP shot it, I mean, I, I always think when he shoots, it's going to go in. Um, so I was just under the basket. I thought it was going to go in. It looked good, hit the back of the iron, and um, I, we'll take that um, any day of the week. And, I mean, the guys in our locker room, we've been together this whole season. We're, we're a really tight group, and um, a, a lot of guys just – know that it's, it's the next game. Um, we know this is a tough one, um, but we know it's just the next game. Keegan, uh, I'm just curious what back here you're seeing from De'Aaron, the way he's played in this series, the way he played today, uh, the leadership maybe that, that he might be showing behind the scenes. What, what are you seeing from him? Yeah, I think he's just kind of turned it up a notch um, from the regular season to now, and um, that just shows that he can, he can be a superstar in this league. Um, he made tough basket, baskets, kept us in, and I think his on-ball pressure was really good at times in this game. So um, he's playing both sides of the ball, um, which is, is huge for us.